गाइज वेलकम बैक टू टेक डोज एंड इन दिस वीडियो वी विल लुक एट द सर्कुलर सेंटेंस प्रॉब्लम विच इज फ्रॉम लीड कोड नंबर टू फोर नाइन जीरो एंड वी विल बी लुकिंग एट द ऑप्टिमल सोल्यूशन लेट्स नाउ रीड द प्रॉब्लम स्टेटमेंट इन दिस प्रॉब्लम सेंटेंस इज अ लिस्ट ऑफ वर्ड्स दैट आर सेपरेटेड बाई अ सिंगल स्पेस विद नो लीडिंग और ट्रेलिंग स्पेसेस फॉर एग्जाम्पल हेलो वर्ल्ड हेलो हेलो वर्ल्ड हेलो वर्ल्ड एट्सेट्रा आर ऑल सेंटेंसेज वर्ड्स कंसिस्ट ऑफ ओनली अपर केस एंड लोअर केस इंग्लिश लेटर्स अपर केस एंड लोअर केस इंग्लिश लेटर्स आर कंसिडर्ड डिफरेंट दैट मीन्स केस सेंसिटिव अ सेंटेंस इज सर्कुलर इफ द लास्ट कैरेक्टर ऑफ अ वर्ड इज इक्वल्स टू द फर्स्ट कैरेक्टर ऑफ द नेक्स्ट वर्ड एंड द लास्ट कैरेक्टर ऑफ द लास्ट वर्ड इज इक्वल्स टू द फर्स्ट कैरेक्टर ऑफ द फर्स्ट वर्ड नाउ इफ यू टेक एन एग्जाम्पल लीड कोड एक्सरसाइज एज साउंड डिलाइटफुल दैन ई इज मैचिंग विद दिस ई द एस मैच इज विद द नेक्स्ट एस डी मैच इज विद द नेक्स्ट डी एंड द एल मैच इज विद द स्टार्टिंग एल so this is circular even if you look look at the eat code then uh, it is starting with the ending with e so the first and the last character are same and again lead code eat soul is like e and e are same s and s are same and the last l is equal to the first l right however if you consider let's say lead code is cool then e and i are not matching so this is not a circular sentence so given a sentence we need to return true if it is a circular sentence otherwise we need to return false now the constraint of this problems are important because lead code usually gives weird kind of test cases now in this case the sentence length in only 500 so your brute force technique will also work sentence consist of only lower case and upper case english letters as mentioned the words in sentence are separated by a single space so this is the most important one and there are no leading or trailing spaces right so there are no spaces in the beginning and no spaces at the end as well now having known this let's look at our example in this case i will take tech dose space echo space org space gamut in this case our goal will be to find if the last character of a word is equals to first character of the next word for each of these words right and our constraints uh, which i have summarized is consider s to be a circular string the second thing is the length of s will always be greater than equals to 1 it is case sensitive so all the checks will be case sensitive as well uh it is guaranteed that there will be exactly one space between the words and there will be no leading and trailing spaces that means no space in the beginning no space at the end right so if we try to match it then for the first word e is matching with the next e yes this is true and it is case sensitively true as well if you look at o with o they are both lower case and same right if you match this g with g lower case and same but if you match this last t with the first t even though they both are t's but their value is different because uh, the last t is lower case and the first t is capital case right upper case so that is why we have to return a false here as an answer but if the last t was capital then we will be returning true otherwise if the first t was small still we will be returning true right now if you look at the second example aba then the last t is matching with the first t and there is exactly one word so it is fine we have to return a true here If you look at the third example the last a is not the same as the first a because the last a is upper case the first a is lower case so we have to return a false in this case so i think the problem statement should be clear now before looking at the solution let's see what would be suboptimal in this case so popularly people like to use the substring built in operation as well as the string concatenation and the string pushback so i will explain with respect to c++ you can check it in your own language out of these three let's first see the plus operator which is string concatenation so when you do s equals s plus let's say just a string a right just a single length string a so what happens is a new copy of this s is created and then a is appended at the end and then it is reassigned to s right so since a new copy is created there is a copy overhead and that is why even if you want to add a single character it will be always the length of the string that means the total length of s and a okay combined together so this is how the string concatenation work if you look at the substring built in operation then if you want to take uh, the substring of a string s then i will write substring of string s starting at some location let's say location i and if i want to take out let's say one character then it will be order of 1 because uh, we are taking out one character if you want to take out k characters then this will be order of k similarly the string push back operations are also order of 1 we will be pushing back at the end of the string so if you want to append an a at the end then you can just uh, use the string push back for one append and uh, if you are willing to do k appends then it will be order of k so substring and uh, string push back have similar complexity whereas the plus 
uh, which is the string concatenation is the worst case in this case so you should avoid it now let's look at a dry run in order to understand uh, the entire approach so i have taken tech dose space echo space o gamut okay and in this case the n value is 20 which is the size of the entire length of the string now initially i will do a base case check where i will check the first character with the last character if they are not the same then immediately i will return a false saying that they are not circular sentence otherwise if they are the same let's assume that the first one was a small t then i will start my process what i will do is i will have an i pointer okay and since i am always guaranteed that in between the two words we will exactly have one gap i will be looking for the gap so i will keep on iterating this i until i reach to the end of string or i reach to a space that means a blank space now if I reach to a blank space then according to our problem statement the previous item of the blank space should be the same as the next item of the blank space because the previous item is the end of a word and the next item is the start of a word right they both should be same isn't it if this is uh, the case then I will be iterating and I will stop at the next blank space when here I stop then I will again do the check for sentence at i minus 1 with sentence at i plus 1 again when i stop then i will be stopping at index 20 which is out of bound so since i had already done the base case check that the first character and the last character are same and after that all the blank spaces were following the condition of sentence at i minus 1 equal sentence at i therefore this is a circular sentence if this is not followed at any step then it will not be a circular sentence let's now look at the code in this code you will see that we are given the sentence and i will do the base case check initially that the last character and first character should be same otherwise uh, we will be returning false and then we are finding the size of the string and we will be starting at the first character now i will iterate for all the characters one by one this second while loop here actually uh, finds out the next blank space or the end of string so when we break actually it is either the end of string or it is the blank space so if it is a blank space that means if it is not an end of string then i should check the previous item of the blank space with the next item of the blank space and if they are not the same then we will return false and i will always be uh, going to the next character and again uh, go in the while loop and again find out the next start point right so this is how we will be processing and if we could not find anything which uh, is not followed according to our rules then we will be returning true saying that it is a circular sentence so this is a on solution and space complexity is o1 so i hope you were able to understand it if you are someone who is looking to prepare for top product based company within a limited time of just three months then we have brought for you both the dsa and the system design live interview training program the most important feature of this program is you get a filtered and condensed structured curriculum in-depth discussion of all the topics and my guarantee of your understanding one-on-one -on -one guidance with me and live weekend classes to know more about the training you can whatsapp us on this given number.